Guys, this is Jones10395 with another airsoft video for you today. This will be how to make a homemade lens protector out of household uh, products that are, at least in my case, uh, readily available. What you will need is some clear packing tape. Don't use that scotch tape because it's cloudy, uh, and this is uh, very clear. As you can see, you can barely tell um, that it's tape. On the camera, you also need a CD cover, like a, for a CD case, that is obviously clear, as clear as you can get it. You'll also obviously need your sight to put it on, and then um, something to measure the dimensions of what you're going to be cutting, because uh, you're going to cut this out to go. At least on a holographic sight, you're going to cut it out to go right in here, not on the lens, but on the plastic part around the lens, but still inside of this aluminum casing. So, in front of the lens, underneath the aluminum casing. I'll show you what I mean later on in the video. Um, but right now we are going to go start some testing. Actually, I need to mention one more thing. I'm going to be cutting this with a Dremel. Um, that's probably the best bet. You can try other other ways of cutting it, but Dremel is going to be the easiest to cut this out uh, and get the perfect shape without cracking or anything. So I have the chronograph right here. I will um, shoot it through the chronograph every time. Uh, so you can see the FPS of it. It's going to be right around 420 FPS with a 0.2 gram BB um, Which I'll be using every time right now. I have one layer of tape on here and let's shoot it right now Okay So I will show you the chronograph here before I show you the results 421 FPS There you go, 1.64 joules of energy And um, this is the side we are experimenting on right now This is the one piece of tape on the outward facing side It penetrated all the way This is with one layer of tape on both sides I believe that penetrated. Yes, it did. I'm sorry, it's blurry. It did penetrate. Um, there is a little bit of plastic. Let me zoom out so I can get closer for you guys. A little bit of plastic stuck in here. The center of uh, center piece of plastic stuck, and everything else around it shot out. Um, so now we're gonna put one more piece of tape on the outside, outward facing part of this. Um, once again the chronograph also read 421 FPS with a 0.2 gram BB at 1.65 joules that time. Two layers of tape on the outside, one layer of tape on the inside. Okay, I believe you can see that. I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm going to show the chronograph first. Well, I guess seconds, since we've already seen that. Chronograph reads 422 FPS, 1.65 joules. Um, the reason I'm doing a 420 FPS gun is because it exceeds the limits of the majority of airsoft fields. I've yet to see one that is above 400 FPS, including outdoor and indoor. Uh, so that's why I'm using 422 FPS as my kind of worst case scenario here at point blank range as you can see. So the structure of this CD cover has already been compromised by the previous shots uh, and you can see that it didn't penetrate. It did bubble up as you can see from the side profile right there but it did not penetrate. The BB bounced off and no plastic came out. It all was retained within the tape. So uh, if you're one of the guys that only wears safety goggles, uh, then you won't get any plastic shards in the face if someone does manage to shoot you with this and it has enough energy to shatter it and all that stuff. So you won't have to have that shattering stuff in your face. Okay, so I'm almost ready to cut this with my Dremel. Uh, what I did was I scored it with my razor blade here. If you can see right there, this is going to be covering the lens. And these two cutouts are because of these curves in the lens, so it won't be able to sit flush. It'll sit flush up to this point, and then it will have to angle, but so I can keep it straight and I won't have an angle in it, I decided to cut out those little parts right there 
so it'll just be able to go straight down. Um, and one thing you want to make sure you do, especially if you're using a wooden or metal ruler like I am, is to always measure from the outside. Like, never put your ruler down on inside. Always keep it on the outside uh, border of what you're going to be cutting out. So you don't risk scratching this because this is, this is just going to be another lens. So you want to have it as smooth as you possibly can. So I'm going to cut this out and then we will begin the rest of the assembly. Alright, here it is, cut out. There are burrs on the end from the plastic melting when I uh, was cutting with the Dremel. On low speed I was using, um, I don't know, speed number two on my Dremel. I don't know the RPM of it, but that's what it was. Um, before you uh, tape over this, like put the tape, the next step, make more templates on your um, whichever CD case you used or whatever material you decided to use, make more templates so that when or if this gets shot out, um, that you can easily make more uh, and you will never have to remeasure and uh, do everything as surgically as you have been doing. And whenever you're handling this, make sure you're setting it down on something that is in relative to the uh, material you're using, in my case this plastic, Make sure you're setting it down on something that's softer than the plastic, so this is obviously paper, so you can minimize the risk of a scratch or anything on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is cut off the burrs right here, then we'll start layering the tape. So I've already done one layer of tape, I'm going to do the next one on camera, like uh, I've kind of promised, uh, just to show you the way I'm going to do it to try to minimize the... Uh, risk of getting something in uh, in between the tape and the and the plastic. Uh, so I'm going to clean this off in my shirt really quick just to try to get any dust that may be on there. And try to keep it out from under your face or uh, out of like a bad area where there's going to be a lot of dust or, or maybe dog hair or something like that. And then your tape, you're going to want to pull off a long strip of that. And then you're just going to lay this down. Find the area where you want to put it and drop it. So uh, right now I have one piece of tape on both sides. Just press it down. Try to drop it evenly so you don't get any air bubbles in it uh, and they're definitely going to be some on the sides but you can squeeze those out with your fingers so what I'm going to do now is just run my fingernails along the sides try to squeeze out any air that I can I'm sorry it's kind of a weird angle with this camera on the desk here might be easier cutting it first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it with the razor blade, um, the razor blade kind of pushing up against the plastic. Uh, here we go. So you're going to do this for each individual layer. Rip that off. And the concept applies everywhere. So for the last piece of tape, you use the same uh, process you've been using throughout the whole time clean it off and all that and make sure there's no fingerprints on the tape can't see anything no hair no dust and then you're gonna want to place it right uh, where you measured it for again this is for my holocyte uh, but the same concept applies for every gun uh, you're gonna be making this for so place it where you want it and you can use anything that you want to put this on your site me I'm just using my third layer of tape as also the mounting thing <laughs> to keep it on the gun or uh, the site rather so that's that now there's your protective side of your gun as you can see obviously I got some air bubbles in it which is kind of not cool but really won't make that big of a difference then there's your sight and now 
it's BB proof, ready to take some hits, and you've saved like $30. And if it does get hit, and you don't like it when it's shattered, you just make a new one instead of buying more. Um, let me put this shield on, though, so we can kind of see how it looks all completed. So that's it. Doesn't break up the profile of your site at all. Still looks like a holographic site. You don't have this big ugly piece of glass sitting in front of your site or nothing. It's just the same thing as it was before. Uh, no changes in visibility, obviously, apart from those air bubbles, but those can be pressed out. Uh, but I was just doing this in the interest of time and for this video. So once again, your site's BB proof now, up to 420 FPS, which most fields don't allow guns over 400 uh, or 350, depending on if you're playing on indoor or outdoor.